Hey guys, so Coffeezilla is coming after Andrew Tate, and it's about time. I mean, Andrew Tate is very aggressive. He has a bunch of loyalists. Uh, he's very, I mean, these are very aggressive individuals, especially when they are online. And he's actually leaked Coffeezilla's email, so Andrew Tate fans have been emailing Coffeezilla nonstop. That being said, I think the questions that CoffeeZilla has asked Andrew Tate are very tame, and I don't believe they're unfair. In fact, on Twitter, where Andrew Tate lives, he lives also on Rumble, uh, the overall response is he should answer these questions. These are from his loyal followers. Now, on YouTube, the opinions are a little different, of course. Andrew Tate is not very popular on YouTube. We're going to go ahead and read it. Even Tate did the I like CoffeeZilla until he exposed me. Well, I should probably read the questions first. So the questions, we kind of know what they look like because CoffeeZilla did privately DM on, I believe, Twitter. Yeah, it looks like it's Twitter or X, Tristan, who is the brother. So, hey, Tristan, I reached out for comment to your brother and you as I have a story about your all crypto endorsements coming out. This was sent to Andrew as well. Please respond in 48 hours to ensure I can get your answers in the video for context. So he's saying, hey, I already made the video. And, you know, just like I gave Logan Paul, you guys can update me or correct anything that I have wrong or at least get your side of the story out. Last year, Andrew said he does not endorse shit coins. He also claimed he does not have anything to do with any crypto. What changed? How much were you and your brother paid to promote talk uh, about a money rooster coin? Are you aware the money rooster coin you and your brother promoted has been hacked to the detriment of the holders? How much were you and your brother paid to promote talk about money venom blockchain? How much was Andrew paid to tweet about FMO Dana? Or you or your brother paid or are affiliated with RNT and Daddy Coin. Andrew said, SEC, come for me. There's no SEC in Romania. We're scammers. Now you and your brother say you're trying to get the TRW token regulated under SEC law. What changed are you planning to sell to U.S. investors? Now, Andrew Tate, as is Andrew Tate's nature, did not take well. And basically, he has exploded. But the overall consensus is these are really fair questions. Uh, th these questions, MSNBC actually asked Kevin O'Leary. Kevin O'Leary went from I hate crypto, and crypto is definitely not you know, an investable product, to, oh, I love crypto. And it turned out he got paid over $10 million plus his taxes by Sam Bakeman Free, who's sitting now in jail. Sam Bakeman Free of FTX fame. Uh, Caroline Ellis, uh, his girlfriend, also sitting in jail. So that's the, that's how you know it's bad because she's doing two years of time. Normally, they let the girlfriend off, right? You look at Madoff's wife, still living the luxury lifestyle. A little less luxury, but still, you know, publishing cookbooks and whatever else she's doing. So this is pretty bizarre, right? You go from making you know videos talking about how crypto is bad and you would never invest in crypto to now promoting various crypto coins that have done really, I mean, they've lost 90%. Uh, as I say in the, my other channel, the S&P 500 is way up. It's like a new record every single day. So instead of putting your money in crypto, yeah. I like CoffeeZilla until he investigated me shirt coming in clutch. For the kind of guys that they call women emotional creatures, they certainly do get emotional over the smart, smallest things. Where men refer to themselves as alpha males, I hear that in the context of software, where alpha versions are unstable, missing important features, filled with flaws, and not fit for the public. If you're all loud and say mean things, it makes you correct and very alpha and very heterosexual. You emailed me in a gay tone. <laughs> yeah, that, you actually said that. Wow, like it's it's like uh self-proclaimed -pro free thinkers when Andrew tell, Tate tells them to call Coffeezilla gay. Yeah, so basically he leaked Coffeezilla's email and said that he would buy more of the Daddy Coin for every email. 
that he was sent of somebody emailing CoffeeZilla that he was gay. It's really prophetic if calling a journalist gay is the best insult you can think of. Nothing says unbarter like yelling slurs and inciting a mob of audience. His fans really are some of the most willfully ignorant people, but they are very dangerous fans. These are not, I mean, because they're not intelligent, they, they can actually be very dangerous. I'm not someone who's already hated. Andrew Tate is officially top L. Tate basically got ratioed pretty bad by his fans when only 300 emails were sent. That is true. That is true. Only 300 emails were sent. So, I like this little image of Andrew Tate. Maybe I'll use that as the as the uh, image. It's kind of funny. But yeah, I mean, CoffeeZilla, the videos are already produced. Whether or not Andrew Tate has any commentary, it doesn't really matter. The video is... I will say this, CoffeeZilla is coming after Andrew Tate is a little, I mean, Andrew Tate is one of the most hateful people online, and uh, yeah, his, his quotation, you emailed me in a homosexual tone, that's who he is, only hundreds of emails, damn, his following isn't as big as you think, yeah, you, you would think that he would get thousands of emails, I mean, this is Andrew Tate, right? All I'm saying is that if anyone who openly called a grown man they're unrelated to daddy asked me if I were gay, I'll take it as a proposition instead of an insult. Oh, don't like how Tate is seeking male attention in a gay tone. Yeah, it's kind of weird, right? Every scammer is a CoffeeZilla fan until CoffeeZilla starts exposing them for scams. Yeah, this goes back to the Kevin O'Leary thing. It's like, okay, you said crypto was a scam. Then got paid a lot of money. Then crypto is the best thing, and everyone should put money in FTX. And a lot of people did put money in FTX, and they lost a lot of money. So this is kind of—I mean, this is actually tweets from Tristan Tate, and they're asking, they're saying, like, "Wait, what's wrong?" Like these questions that he asked were perfectly fine. Why did you? Why did you do that? Right? Oh. I love your investigations. Oh, you can't investigate shit as soon as you look into them. The funniest thing about Tate is how he always tells people that he doesn't need any money, that he's all set, but then keeps spending. Uh, yeah, this is exactly Boogie 29. I mean, this is like every influencer. Oh, I'm really wealthy. and But, you know, hey, I got to show this crypto. This kind of sounds like Steve will do it. I do like Steve will do it a lot better, but... Um, yeah, this is Steve will do it in a nutshell as well. Logan Paul, now Andrew Tate, there is a pattern. If you call yourself an alpha, you aren't. Cobert Tate, a grifter? No, can't be. Yeah, he's 37. I think Andrew's 37. He's my age. It's kind of crazy. Emailed me in a homosexual tone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Jesus, like, where does he come up with this? It's so insane, you know, it, it is so insane. But, like, the video is produced already. He's giving Tristan and uh, the other, ta or, uh, Andrew, the ability to comment. And you can look at the, um, the comments, right? I hope you guys answer his questions, though. I'm curious what changed your minds. That, that's the number one comment. Coffee... Zilla exposes people's scams all the time. Laugh out loud. I don't know why you're hating on him unless you guys are guilty. Good point. Anyway, good luck to Coffee Zilla. This should be pretty interesting to cover.